Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get um, Club Penguins SWF on Visual Basic. So go to Safari. You need to download Safari because that is the fastest way to get this. And it's the only way that works for me and I guarantee it's the only way it's going to work for you. So um, to download Safari just go to apple.com slash um, slash down downloads slash safari okay actually no um apple.com slash safari slash download yeah and you can download safari 4 but I I like safari 3 better okay then after you're done downloading Safari, in Safari, type in this. Um, HTTP dot dot slash slash media one dot club penguin dot com slash play slash v2 slash client slash load dot swf. Type that in and click enter. I just want you to do this to make sure it works. It does work. So click that. Copy it. And go and Visual Basic. Okay, now create a new project and name the project um, Club Penguin Client. Okay, and click enter and wait for it to load. Okay, and now time to do this. There's no coding into this unless you want to get advanced. Okay, so make the form about this size. I recommend. Okay, and then go to Tools. And if you don't see an SWF, if you don't see Shockwave Flash Object, which I already have, but if you don't have it, right click and click um, Choose Items. Now just wait for this to pause it because it sometimes does not respond. Okay, and now um, go to the tab come components and scroll down until you see um shockwave flash object um there shockwave flash object check that and click ok alright now double click on it and it will go in it will go in the form Just wait, it takes a while maybe. Excuse me, it's a little slow right now, but just some of Okay, and once it's um in there, it'll just be plain old white. So in order to make it stand out, go to click on it and go to properties and change um and to the um the thingy in there, the penguin in there, paste the um, the URL in there, click enter. and um as you can see it works. It works. I one time made it this small, but then you can't really see it that good. I made it this small once, but then I couldn't see it. Okay, so about this big, or whatever you want, about this big. Click on the, this, click on the SWF, go to Properties, and dock it in the parent container. Dock it in the full one. Go to, um, let me try to find it. And go and now we dock the once you move this. Oh, whoops. Try again. Um, dock. Okay, and once you click that, then we'll do a form bigger. It should be that it follows. So, you can just make it as small as you want and as big as you want. And I'm going to make it about that size. Okay, now, um, Make sure all the connections are closed. So make sure this one, and make sure every connection for Club Penguin is closed. Now debug it, and if it still says multiple connections detected, you can just click X and re restart the um, process of debugging. So just wait. 
Let's see, it's loading. Okay, and you have it there. There's Club Penguin. It's it's on the internet still. It's just Flash, and you can play Club Penguin in mini version. Resize it, make it as big as your screen, make it huge, make it very small. This is small. I like it. I would like it. You can make a widget of Club Penguin. Um, yeah, and I hope that helps. I think very cool. And um, yeah, you can do that, and you can maximize it to full screen if you want. But um, that is how to Club Penguin on Visual Basic. So, see ya.